Me now is uh, Nairobi Governor Mike Sonko. Governor, thanks for making time for me this evening. Um, how much money does the county need in the next three to five years to fund the regeneration program? And actually, and uh, we are still uh, working on that. Uh, we always have our monthly meetings. Uh, the technical team is uh, being chaired by uh, Najib uh, uh, Balala and Akina uh, P.S. Hinga. But in the main team, the main team is being chaired by the president and myself. We are bringing all our budgets together. But if I may say, in some of these projects, and for instance, the regeneration of our uh, estates, the county estates, Actually, we hardly uh, need money for these particular projects. Um, uh, it's interesting to hear you thanking the president for his intervention when on a leaked phone call the other day, you said Umekaliwa Nairobi. I think and that was just a trick, you know. <laughs> Why did you bring my friend, uh, my colleague? It was just a trick to buy time. And I know I, well, <laughs> the question you want to raise whether I was maybe showing some case of impunity. But my big answer will be, at the end of the day, uh, Waititu's wife was charged, the First Lady of Kiambu uh, was charged. But again, we've been talking to uh, the governor of Kiambu County, who is my good friend. And we've told him just to, to, to bring his plans, to apply for approval. We have no problem with him as an investor in Nairobi City County. Once that is done, then we will, we will, we, they will proceed with their construction. You're in the habit of recording people without their knowledge. That is one of the ways of curbing impunity. I've had a very mature uh, discussion with you, uh, interview with you. Uh -huh. You've not told me you want to steal anything from Nairobi County. You've not mentioned of any deal. You're not a cartel, Anne. You know, uh, yeah. That's true. I'm not a cartel. I'm just Anne. H having said that, though, yes. there are those who feel that yes. um, yes. your um, style of leadership, which includes sometimes recording yes. um, conversations and putting it out there yes. in the public light, demeans the office of the governor. Yes. And that the content of some of those conversations mm -hmm. further do not paint you in good light. Take, for yes. instance, that with the Kiambu governor, where you admit yourself to be breaking yes. the law. But did I break that particular law you are talking about? You're At the, the one end who of said the day, it. We complied with the law. The, the, the contractors were charged. I don't, I don't have to repeat myself on that. I've already elaborated on that. So I wanted just to prove him wrong that just the other day he was criticizing us. Then the next day is here pleading with us okay, to uh, release maybe his wife and block the arrest of his contractors who had no approvals to, to repair his buildings within the city. Back and forth throughout your administration, there seems to have been this tug of war with national government, with you seeming to say you are not comfortable with the amount of influence that they were exerting on the way Nairobi should be run. It seems right now that you're thankful for their intervention. I've never had any problem with His Excellency the President. Actually, he's been supporting me. And uh, you know the kind of government and we inherited from uh, uh, my predecessor. By then, corruption was uh, rampant. They say I like talking about cartels. I have to talk about cartels because cartels were all over. Even now, they are still all over City Hall. We are trying our best to curb this menace. But I want to thank His Excellency the President in a very big way. The national government, this partnership in a very big way. Nairobi, running Nairobi is not a joke. It is very difficult. You need all these kind of partnership uh, programs, especially the help, I want to repeat, from the national uh, government. Okay. So there is no intervention from, from, from top, as you want to put it. Apart from the siasa that was there, kidogo kidogo na watu kidogo kidogo, which is normal in politics. There is no permanent enmity in politics. And 
And the senior officers, we had issues with them. We have uh, sorted those issues. Actually, the president himself chaired that meeting, and uh, we are now in good working relations with the national government. I know you want to talk about uh, Kibichu. He's now my good friend. We had tea together. We sorted out, we ironed out all the issues. And now we are working together All right, let's for the betterment uh, of Nairobi and K Kenyans in general. Okay. Um, what are the priority areas for you in terms of regeneration of the city? Because a lot is being done. Roads are being put up, uh, water and sewerage, etc. What would you say you must accomplish before your term is up? I've come with a, with a, with a, with a permanent solution to this uh, the garbage uh, problem, whereby after putting this giant recycling plant in Dandora, uh, garbage will be sold. We'll be, buy, we'll be buying garbage from the youth, from the estates, and uh, use it as a raw material. Speaking of uh, Dandora, Governor, uh, uh, program. I beg your pardon. To, speaking yes. of Dandora and, and um, the issues around that dump site, part of what it has fostered is yes. a great deal of criminality. Okay. Uh, number one, all these criminals, all these youth, they, they are going to be employed because one of the conditions we are going to maybe uh, put in our uh, partnership agreement is that the, 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 in, the particular investor who is going to win the tender has to consider uh, this youth, we have to employ them. And uh, again, security wasn't devolved, but as a county, it's our responsibility to partner with the national government, with the police, and ensure that there is sufficient security in Dandora. Okay. Another thing uh, which I've said, because we want to maintain the status of our great city of uh, Nairobi, the border border menace and the hawkers menace, we know the hawkers voted for me, uh, border border operators voted for me, but listen, now I'm the governor of Nairobi. We also need their input to, to transform our city. We cannot have a scenario whereby you have president of America staying in Serena Hotel, then you have 100 border borders outside Serena Hotel. That one, we can't allow it uh, to happen anymore. Otherwise, people will say Nairobi may end up with Chokora in a Kwara like, like a Chokora uh, government. That one will not uh, allow it uh, to happen anymore. How has the lack of a substantive deputy affected your work? It has not affected me in any way, any way Anne. You've seen it's over uh, eight months I've been running the county without the deputy. I have confidence in my government, in the county assembly. We work together mm, as a team. However, I've shortlisted uh, four names, as you've mentioned, um, in consultation with the party leadership, with the president of the Republic of Kenya, the deputy president, uh, DP, I mean, I mean, I mean the, the, the jubilee uh, leadership. And very soon I'll come with one name, which I'll forward, it, I'll forward the name to the uh, speaker of the of the of the uh, county assembly for maybe approval. Why all the hullabaloo over this deputy? It it appears to some that you're using it as yes. some sort of you know thing to dangle to Nairobians and to political interests, and as some sort of card, your Trump card. Why is it such a big deal? Why not just pick someone and get on with it? Uh, it is not a big deal, uh, you know, uh, uh, Nairobi does not belong to me, it belongs to the people, the great people of Nairobi, those who voted for me, those who didn't vote for me. But you see, this is, uh, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a jubilee governor. I should consult the party leadership before I pick one name from the four. I want to tell Nairobians to be patient. We are going to have a deputy governor very soon. When will the next phase of demolitions in the city begin? Come again? When will the next, the next phase of demolitions? The demolitions, the demolitions are still ongoing. They're, they're, they're still ongoing. Where? Where? We are targeting, uh, uh, they're still ongoing. No, it seems everything has gone quiet. You know, in some lately. cases, and we don't have, in some cases, for instance, you saw what it did recently in uh, Gigiri. We don't have to be malicious. We don't have to destroy our economy. You saw how I repossessed the Gigiri fire station. I went there humbly, politely, with our documents. And we told the, the, the land owners, uh, this is a land uh, which was grabbed. 
there is a fire station which is supposed to be constructed here. Can you move your vehicles? Can you move your valuables, your belongings here so that you can take over this land? And that is what we did. We took over the Giri fire station. We took over the High Ridge Hospital. I think it was leased to Coast Bus. We went there. We told them remove their buses. They removed their buses. We took over this property. And we are also working on the, uh, the documents. You see, we are doing our searches at the land's office. We are through with our county records. So we, we, are, we are in the process of identifying whether this is a public utility, it's a private uh, uh, property. So the demolitions are still ongoing. And Which is the next big building to come down? Uh, I think there are notices which were issued maybe at expiry of these not notices then we are the demolitions are going to we are going to proceed with the with the with the, with the demolitions but uh, there is the Taj Mall which is there <laughs> i know you want to ask about western hotel i i wasn't uh, well go ahead uh, why not are, answer me what about we are, western we are going we are going we are going we will go there with surveyors and maybe check the boundaries if it has encroached in a public uh, utility land that is which is Langata uh, primary the, 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 the that particular will deal with that particular uh, uh, part which 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 will have encroached in a public utility when will you go with surveyors so there's so many Western? when I think by this by this week before Friday we are going there Finally, Governor, um, you know, part of the problems that Nairobi faces is the population pressure, that people are coming from all over the country to find work and opportunity here in Nairobi. Um, there were talks of a kind of metropolitan uh, ministry or authority that would bring in the neighboring counties, Kiambu, um, uh, Kajiado, Machakos, etc., to collaborate on economic and other opportunities, yes. and that hopefully that would ease the, the pressure on Nairobi. Uh, where are you in as far as those plans are concerned? No, we, we support these plans, but provided our, our, our powers as governors are not stripped off, uh, our powers are not reduced, we'll, we have no problem with, that, uh, with those particular plans. Thank you, Governor, for your time. Yes. Thank you, Anne.